Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be talking all about the luxury makeup that I took on vacation. I just thought this would be an interesting video because I'm always curious why people decide to take what they take on vacation. Are you taking your favorite makeup products or are you taking products that you love but you take specifically because they won't break? And that is the case for me. I'm always worried that my makeup will shatter because I've had that happen countless times now. I do want to note that the beginning of this video is a little bit different because I completely forgot to film an intro last time. So if you see that I look different in the next clip, that is why. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you like it. And let's just get straight into it. First off, I'm going to start with the skin because that's probably the most important thing for me when I am traveling. I want my skin to always look its best. And for me, my eyes are kind of an afterthought. Now, for this trip, it is going to be, I'm just going essentially up island, so it's almost a staycation. It's a few hours away, but I'm still going to be in kind of the same environment, so it's going to be a little bit windy. It's definitely going to be fall weather there, so I want to keep everything fresh and natural and light because, honestly, we're probably not going to be doing that much, and maybe we'll go out for dinner a few times. So for the daytime, I'm going to keep everything really fresh and natural and light, so for skincare slash makeup, I'm going to take the Chantecaille Anti-Aging Face Tint in the shade Sheer Bronze. So this I'm going to use as both a primer. So what this is, is it is a skincare makeup hybrid. You can use it in a multitude of different ways. For me, I like to use this as a skincare makeup hybrid. I like to use this as my primer or just as a, basically a face tint. So I apply it all over the skin and kind of let my skin shine through. But I like that I can use this in both a uh, primer, so I can wear it underneath makeup. And then if I go over top of the foundation, I won't require as much foundation. It just leaves your skin looking really nice and perfected and healthy and youthful. Really blurs any pores or texture that you have on the skin, which, and because it has that blurring effect, that means that you can go in with less product on top. So that's just my favorite thing. I'm not going to be taking this full container. What I do is I order those they're like little jars off Amazon. They're like five gram little containers. I order those off Amazon and then I just order little stickers that can go on top so I can write the name of the product that I'm taking with me. And then I'll just um, put a little bit of this product into one of those containers and take it to go. Um, that means it's not going to take up as much space. And then I would worry about this leaking or somehow opening and getting everywhere. So that's what I do with kind of foundation product. And then next up for foundations, so I have kind of a mixture of foundations. You guys will think I am crazy for bringing this many. The first I'm going to bring is the Chanel Water Fresh Tint. This is in the shade Medium. I don't even have that much left. There's probably, I don't know, I'm like more than three quarters of the way through this one. But I just like this, again, for really healthy looking skin where I don't want it to look like I am wearing makeup. This is a great in-person makeup because it can't, you can't see products sitting on top of your skin. These products are actually fantastic to layer together. So I'll go in with a thin layer of this, a thin layer of the Chanel Water Fresh Tint over top, and it just gives you the most beautiful blurred out skin that just looks, again, like your skin, but better. You can't detect that makeup, but you just look more perfected. You just look like you are enhanced, and I really enjoy makeup that enhances you, especially when I'm on vacation. I don't want anything high maintenance that's going to fade away or crease or that I have to worry about, and with these kind of products, I don't need to worry about touching it up or anything. It's just going to remain in place all day, and it's super lightweight and just kind of a no fuss makeup. So I will be bringing this. I can wear this for every day, and then I can also wear it if I am going out as well. I don't have a problem with that, but, 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 if I decide to go for something with a little bit more coverage, maybe we decide to go out for dinner, or maybe we will be doing something in town somewhere, I am going to bring just, I'm going to pump some out in, again, one of those little containers. This is the Dior Capture Total Super Potent Serum Foundation, and this I can just rely on in any climate, whether it is really humid or dry. I can just rely on it for anything, if it's really hot, if it's really cold. Now where I'm going, I'm going up to Tofino, if, ever, if any of you have ever been there. It's very rainy, um, and I know that I can rely on this foundation um, for that kind of weather, and it will perform really well as well. And even though I will be using this if I am going out in like the evening, it's not heavy in any way. It's definitely more of a light to medium coverage, but I like that I can build it up to a medium if I want to, if I just want a little bit of coverage for any particular reason. 
So I'm going to take a little bit of this. I might not end up using it, but I like that I will have this on hand just in case. Just one of the best foundations. You guys have heard me talk about it so many times. Just a foundation I can trust. So beautiful on the skin. Again, it's blurring, perfecting, and it is beautiful. But you can still see a little bit of your skin texture through, so it's not full coverage by any means. And for concealers, so this is kind of a foundation concealer hybrid. So maybe if I don't want to use the Chanel Water Fresh tint, I don't know why I wouldn't want to use it, but if I don't want to, and I want something with a little bit more coverage, maybe my skin will be a little bit more red down there from driving up there. Who knows? <laughs> you never know what your skin will do. But this is the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Complexion Touch. So I can use this as a concealer under the eyes and all over my skin. Very similar. All the things that I mentioned in the Chanel Water Fresh tint is the exact same in the Chanel Water Fresh Complexion Touch except that this one just has a little bit more coverage, but everything else remains the same. The texture, how it performs on the skin, how it looks on the skin, how it blurs out the skin. But this one, I wear the shade B30. And I also really like to use this under the eyes. So I like to use it under the eyes as a concealer. And what it does is it is a very lightweight concealer. So it doesn't look heavy on the under eyes. It actually doesn't even look like you're wearing really makeup on the under eyes, which is really nice. Um, so I am going to utilize this on a daily basis as my concealer. You can still see a little bit of darkness peeking through. So if you're someone that likes full coverage under the eyes, you will need to go in with additional product with this one. But it's just really beautiful and you don't need a powder to set that one down. It does set down on its own, which is a really nice skin-like concealer. And then if I am going out in the evening, I am going to bring just another corrector just in case, just in case I want something with a little bit more coverage and I want something a little bit more perfected. So this is the Sisley Phyto Eclat Eye Concealer with Botanical Extracts in the shade 2. And this is more of a medium to fuller coverage concealer. I would say it is more of a full coverage concealer. You just require a little bit of product underneath the eyes and it does instantly conceal any darkness so if you are someone that suffers with really dark under eyes this is a perfect concealer for you again it performs really well in any climates that i'm in so i can trust this concealer i don't need to set it down very long wearing and something that i will be utilizing in the evenings out or if we are going out and doing something so i will be bringing this concealer and then i am going to bring a fuller coverage facial concealer just in case i do want to just wear the chanel water fresh tint or the chantecaille anti-aging what is that called anti-aging anti i don't remember the name of it anti-aging face tint if i just want to wear those products i am going to bring the clay de peau concealer in the shade almond and with this i will just spot conceal on my face so that way the rest of my face remains looking like i'm not very wearing very much makeup and then i can spot conceal on any redness or any marks that i might have so i will be bringing this concealer this is just a great full coverage concealer if you are looking for that full color coverage effect especially on any areas of discoloration demarcation if you have any post blemish marks this is a fantastic concealer because while it is full coverage it doesn't look heavy or cakey on the skin it does have um, it's an emollient concealer but it doesn't wipe away throughout the day it is very long lasting but because it is emollient it blends into the skin really beautifully so it doesn't actually look like heavy conceal concealer sitting on your skin so i love that and i will be taking this as my facial concealer now this may seem a little bit excessive but i'm actually going to bring two bronzers i'm not really sure why but i feel like i can't choose between the two so i'm going to take two now with my bronzers there are many options that i could have taken but i want to take a compact it's different with those liquid products. I can decant them and put them in little containers so I don't have to worry about those breaking or leaking because I'll put them in Ziploc bags. But with powder products, I don't wanna bring any of my absolute holy grail products because I'm worried that they will shatter and break. So I want to take something that has a sturdy compact that can kind of bounce around while we're traveling and that I don't have to worry about product breaking and that in case it does break, I don't have a problem replacing it, so I don't wanna bring my most like expensive items that I can't live without because I would just worry that they would break. I've had so many items break while traveling, so I wanna be extra careful this time. So first, I'm going to bring the Guerlain Terracotta Light Sunkissed Healthy Glow Powder in the shade Medium Warm. 
I just love this. And again, I feel like I will reach for this product when I am wearing like the Chantecaille anti-aging face tint or the Chanel water fresh tint. And then I could just go in with this powder bronzer and I don't require any other blush or a highlighter or powder or anything. This will just create a really simple, easy look that will take me about five minutes to create myself. So this would be perfect when we're just spending time indoors and not really going out or maybe even running errands or something. This will just be my go-to kind of everyday look where it's just super easy. I don't have to worry about it, but this kind of product, because it has those blush tones in it, this has a product with the blush color and bronzer tones, is going to bring me youthfulness and life to my cheeks so that I do not require a blush or a highlighter. Uh, just a great powder if you're looking for something that is really time efficient. So I will be bringing that and I'm bringing this because it actually has like a hard casing to it. It closes really well. It is quite sturdy and I don't think this will break when I bring it with me. So I feel confident bringing this compact with me without it shattering essentially. So I do feel like this, hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't break. And then the other bronzer I will be taking is the Clay de Peau Bronzing Powder Duo in the shade 2. Now this one has very sturdy packaging. It is like thick, really thick packaging. I have total faith that this will have no problem lasting. I do not see it breaking at all. This powder is also really hard pressed, so it's not, I feel like it's not delicate enough that when it moves around in a compact, it's going to break or shatter. But I really enjoy this bronzer. I love these tones together. I also love to use this on the eyes, so I figure instead of bringing a matte eyeshadow, I'm just going to bring this bronzer. I can use these on the eyes. If I am going out, um, I think this performs beautifully on the eyes as well. But I also really love this bronzer combination because it's just a really beautiful powder bronzer formula. Really flattering, really easy to blend. Um, I just love these tones and I've been reaching for this bronzer quite a lot lately and I also think that it won't break so that's another reason why I'm bringing it but it's just a great bronzer. I feel like this is really underrated but it's really nice for face and eyes and I just want to bring it. It has a really nice formula where it has this ever, it has like a very skin like sheen to it but there is a little swatch there for you and the combination of these two together just give a really nice warmth to the skin without it being over the top really blendable really buildable and a flattering bronzer so i will be bringing both of these and for cheek products again i'm going to bring something that is super natural on the cheeks so this is the Chanel Waterfresh Blush in the shade Intense Coral. Again, I'll just take these in one of those little containers. And I really like this because it offers a really pretty no makeup makeup look. So again, when I'm going for those really easy everyday makeup looks, I can just pop a little bit of this onto my cheeks just to add a little bit of color. And I feel like that is a perfect daily look. This is something that I like to use when I want my skin to just look really natural. It is not going to fade throughout the day. This is actually a super long wearing product once you apply it onto the skin. I really like this on the cheeks because it is very youthful color. It is brightening this intense coral. It is definitely intense. It gives you a lot of pigmentation, but I just feel like, I don't know, it's just a really beautiful brightness that it gives your cheeks. And I'm going up there for my birthday, so just in case I have a little bit too many birthday drinks. This will give me a, a nice life um, and lift to my skin the day after, just in case, because if you go in with a little bit of color on your cheeks, it does give you life. So I just love this product and I will be taking it with me. And in terms of powder blush, because I did want a powder blush option, especially for evenings out, if I am not going to just be doing nothing all day, I do like that option, but again, a lot of my powder blushes, they are quite finely milled. I would be a little too worried to bring them traveling because in transit, I feel like they might shatter or break. So I'm going to take something that is extremely hard pressed and that also has a pretty sturdy casing. This is the Laura Mercier Blush Color Infusion in the shade Ginger. I just felt like this was a really safe option because it is super neutral. It is your cheeks, but better. It is a hard pressed formula, so you do require kind of a heavier hand to apply it onto the cheeks, but it is a really beautiful formula. And again, it just kind of enhances your look because it is such a natural looking blush. I just thought this would be a fail safe because it is so nude and it will just be pretty on the cheeks and I can trust it traveling because I do not believe it will break. The Chantecaille Sunbeam Cheek and Eye Shade in the shade Ray is what I will be taking as my highlight. I figured this would be a really good option because again, this is plastic packaging, so it doesn't feel too heavy. 
which I like for traveling. I like traveling with things that feel lightweight. This also has quite a thick packaging, so I'm not worried that it will break. Even though this is a finely milled product, I feel like this is really sturdy in this compact, and I feel like it will be safe traveling. I also like that I can use this on my cheeks and eyes as well. This is going to give me a really pretty highlighter look. It's almost that glossy effect on your cheeks, so it looks like your cheeks have just a wet glow. It really melts into the skin, almost as if you've applied a liquid illuminator onto the skin. Really, really enjoy this. It's a really pretty deeper shade. It has a bit of rosiness to it, almost like it looks a little bit copper and it looks like it would be too deep on the cheeks, but it isn't. It just gives you a hint of color and does really melt into the cheeks. It doesn't give you so much of a deep color payoff, even though it might look like it, but you can just see how glossy that is on the hand. So on the cheeks, when you really buff everything into the skin, it does give you that glossy effect and it's just gorgeous. Really beautiful as an eye topper as well. So I figure this would just be a great multi-purpose product to bring. So I'm bringing that as my highlight, and then I totally forgot to mention powder. I'm just going to be bringing the Chantecaille Perfect Blur Finishing Powder in the shade Light Medium. I decided to bring this one because, again, the Clay de Peau translucent powder that I have is so finely milled. I feel like it would break if I brought it traveling. But this powder, I'm going to bring this one and not my broken one that I have here. This is just a new compact. This packaging is limited edition. It comes in the Pebble packaging, which is permanent now. But I figured this would be great to bring. Again, we have that thick packaging, so I don't feel like it will break. And also, this is a baked powder, so it is pressed kind of firmly into this compact, so I don't feel like it will break in transit. I feel like it is very, it's a very safe product to take with me traveling. But I love this. I feel like I can get a really beautiful, perfected, blurred look from my makeup when I use this powder, especially because I am bringing more lightweight foundation products. This will set down my makeup, but will add a perfected, blurred effect. It perfects the look of texture on your skin and also perfects the appearance of your skin as well. It will add a tiny bit of coverage, but I don't mind that because again, I am bringing more lightweight foundations. I just think this is perfect to travel with. It's easy to bring. It's easy if you want to touch up any of your makeup with this product as well. Just as a, This is just kind of a fail-safe powder for me. And in terms of eyes, I am bringing the most basic eyeshadow, I guess. I'm just bringing a one and done, not bringing any eyeshadow palettes. Again, we're going out very minimally, and if we go out, I don't want to look over the top. If you've ever been to Tofino, no one really dresses up there, so I think it would just be too much if I brought eyeshadows. I'm just going to bring a one and done. This is the Bobbi Brown Lex Eyeshadow Rich Metal in the shade Melting Pot. Gorgeous baked shadow. It has, it's such a beautiful tone. It's like this champagne, copper, bronze, beautifulness. I will do a little swatch there. So I love it because it is quite neutral and it has a really nice brightness about it. So I feel like it gives your eyes life and youthfulness because it's not a deep color. So it's going to be very flattering on any eye color, any skin tone, just adds this lovely brightness. And again, it adds this kind of wet, glossy effect. It's like a supermodel glow. It's very beautiful, very elegant, sophisticated shimmers. You guys have heard me talk about that a lot. But the shimmer particles in here are quite compact and tightly pressed together. So you just get this very um, kind of sheer shimmer wash. It's nothing chunky, it is nothing that is, it's a very continuous shimmer, I guess I could say. It's a very refined shimmer that just looks so beautiful on the eyes, so I figured this would just be a really beautiful one to take traveling, because again, it's appropriate for day or evening, it's not going to look over the top. For eyeliner to tight line, I'm just going to bring the Hourglass Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in the shade Obsidian. If you're looking for something that stays in your tight line all day long, doesn't move, fantastic. I am bringing this. And then in terms of mascara, I'm just going to bring my favorite combination, the Dior, Dior Show Maximizer 3D, gosh, longest name ever, triple volume plumping lash primer, just as a lash primer. I just love this as a lash primer underneath mascara. It gives me length and volume and prepares my lashes for mascara over top. And then for mascara, I'm bringing the Gucci Mascara L'Obscure in the shade black. I think it only comes in one color, but I love this as an everyday mascara an evening, and an evening mascara. It's just the mascara I have open right now. It performs really well. It doesn't smudge, doesn't flake. It gives me length and volume without spiral lashes. It's very buildable for mascara formula. 
And again, I don't get those spider lashes. And it's really important to me that a mascara doesn't flake like, throughout the day. And this doesn't. So I really love this mascara. And in terms of lip product, I am just bringing two products. I'm going to bring my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat. I don't necessarily need to bring this, but I like to have the option of having a lip liner just in case I want something. And then I'm going to take the Merit. This is the signature lightweight lipstick in the shade Baby. This is just my go-to everyday nude lipstick. Look how sad that is. Hopefully this will last me my full vacation. But I just love this. It's a really great neutral nude lipstick, but it's not super nude where it kind of dulls you down and makes you look dead. This has enough color to it where it gives you life and it's just such a flattering tone. It's such a flattering lipstick formula. It almost feels like it's a satin lipstick, but just lighter in pigmentation and a little bit glossier, I wanna say, than a satin lipstick. And it also just has this capability of just melting into your lips. Uh, it's so good. It's like a hybrid between like a Chanel Rouge Coco Flash and a satin lipstick. It's perfect. And it is, like it says, a lightweight lipstick. It is incredibly lightweight. I'm just obsessed with this lip color, everything about it. So I'm going to be taking that. And then that is everything, all the makeup products that I'm taking on vacation. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you like to travel with on vacation. I'm so curious because I just think it's interesting how everyone packs or takes makeup on vacation because I just feel like everyone's so different. You might not even take makeup or you might take way more than me or you might take way less. I don't know. It's interesting just to hear everyone's thoughts. So I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you like it and I'll see you in my next video.